Welcome to LeetCode's Blind Created 75, where I'll be solving the top 75 LeetCode questions. This question is called Rotate Image, and it's a pretty classic one. I've seen it before. You are given a 2D matrix representing an image, and we want to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So say that you're given a grid like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We want to rotate it so that the first row is essentially the last column, second row is the second to last column, and so on and so forth. Now, but the trick is they want us to do this in place, which makes it a lot trickier. Normally, how I would think about solving this is to create a copy of this matrix or another placeholder and just go through each row and add that to the last column. That would be easy, but they want us to do this in place. So how can we do that? Doing transformations in place requires us to swap because we can't just put the row into the column, otherwise we lose the values inside here. So say that like this right here, my AirPod is the matrix and we want it to end up 90 degrees like this, right? Now we could do swapping and do certain things like reverse it, we can reverse it, we could um, reverse it this way, but how do we want it rotated? Like what can we do to rotate it? So one way you could do that is actually to do a transpose. And what transpose does is essentially flip it like this, right? Now that's not exactly right because we want it to be rotating 90 degrees. So if we were to do that, we could just reverse it and end up having this rotated matrix like this. Like, or better yet, we can reverse it to begin with and then just transpose it. So the trick is now, how do we write our transpose algorithm? And that's the part that's a little bit tricky, uh, but if you know your linear algebra, it's actually not too bad. Uh, basically what you'll do is, since we know that this is a square, um, they told us that this is, the grid matrix is gonna be a square, we could just assume that length of matrix, it's both the width and the length. And what we'll do is say for every, whatever R in range of N, we'll say, okay, for, I'm just going to call it column, even though that's not totally accurate, we'll go for the range of each number that we're given inside this range and just swap the column and matri column and row for each cell. So what that does is we'll say, hey, get the matrix row column, uh, swap that with column like this. And this will actually transpose it, right? And we, in order to get it rotated 90 degrees before that, let's just first reverse it in place. We can just use the built-in method to do that. I mean, you could do it using a for loop as well, but this is, should be fine. And we don't need to return anything. So at this point, once we transpose it, the matrix should be rotated. So there we go. It looks like it worked. Um, you can submit that. And what did it get accepted? I guess it. I guess it did, right? So yep, there you go, accepted. Um, yeah. So I know this looks really easy, but this took some time for me to figure out, especially that transposing part. My original for loop was a lot more icky, um, but this I realized um, after doing some digging that you can transpose it using this method here. So I would. Definitely say this is something you should memorize, this transpose method, because it can come in useful. Uh, when you're looking at like, oh, how can we rotate images in place and stuff, like you have to make sure to realize, okay, well, there's only certain things we can do in place using the swapping method, but because like um, there's different things we can do, we can ultimately rotate it or, or reverse it in the way that we want. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching my channel. Um, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.